Hello everyone. It's been a few weeks since I first showed you this hen. She is of course the recessive red hen who competed in the 650km race from Burke into Sydney. And now that she's settled in, I think I'll just make a little video explaining where she fits in to our recessive red racing pigeon breeding plants. So of course she is a homozygous recessive red. And for a recessive red racing pigeon she actually has pretty good colour. Her wing shields are almost completely red. She has a bit of blue on the rump and she's still showing a tail bar and there's a few white feathers in her but compared to a lot of recessive red racing pigeons she's got a pretty good colour. Now there's three different cocks I've, I'm planning on putting her with. The first one is this brown cock. He is a very very old cock but he carries recessive red. And I've heard a few people say that recessive reds who have a brown based colour show a bit of a better colour than blue based recessive reds. So I'm just going to give them one round and we might get a recessive red hen who is based on brown out of them and we'll see how it looks. Next we have this guy. He's another recessive red racing pigeon who I've had for a little while now. This guy was never raced himself but he comes from a flyer who spent about 20 years producing this family of recessive reds so I'm pretty confident that they'll do alright. Unfortunately he does have a lot of white in him, which is not ideal. It's not what I'm trying to breed. But a lot of white in his tail and all over his wings, there's big patches of white. I am trying to breed some solid coloured recessive reds, but as always, they need to be racing pigeons. So I'm pretty sure this guy will do all right. And then last of all, we have this guy. You might remember him. He was the cranky opal cock who used to try and attack me every time I'd check on the nest. But he also carries recessive red, and I think eventually, and I think eventually he will be the permanent partner for the red hen. And the reason behind that is that the hen, of course, I picked her up because she. <laughs> and the reasoning behind that is because the reason I picked up the hen was not only for the colour, it was because she was able to do the distance. And this guy is also a flown racing pigeon, and he has a pedigree for flying a little bit longer distance than the other two cocks I'm planning on putting her with. So I think eventually I'll just leave this cock with the hen and we'll produce some more long distance recessive red pigeons. That won't be the end of it though because like I said our goal is to produce some solid colored recessive red pigeons and if you've seen my how to breed recessive red video you know that adding a gene called spread and maybe even dirty can produce some better solid colored recessive reds. So in the future in another year or two once we have a few more of these birds racing I'll take the best ones of those and pair them into the spreads and eventually we should be able to put together a nice solid brick red coloured recessive red racing pigeon. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this update and I'll catch you next time.